What's happening guys, Coast to Coast Studios, your host for Behind the Grams, where we jump into some of the stories, the inspiration and the motivation behind the feeds that we watch every day. Today I have my man Eddie J here, content creator. Let's jump right into it and just introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Eddie J. Uh, actually, it's Eddie Ochoa Jr. Uh, I'm from a small town in Southwest Kansas, about like 8,000 people. Heck yeah. Yeah, we're like three and a half hours from any metro whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So to catch a flight out here, I had to drive five hours. Yeah. Which was five hours to your nearest yeah. airport? Well, our nearest airport's like three and a half, four. Mm -hmm. but but yeah. that one's pricey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pricey, price price I can imagine, like, yeah. You can actually fly out an hour away, but you play like... Did you fly into John Wayne? Yeah. yeah, Orange County. Well, that's good. Yeah. Heck yeah, at least yeah. you're flying to John Wayne. Yeah. When I yeah. when I fly, I'm like, I'm always on the budget, you know? Yeah. Balling on yeah. a budget, you know? Yeah. So we're, I, I'm always looking for the cheapest flights, and LAX is just a hub, so it's always kind of the cheapest. Yeah. So let's jump into Behind the Gram, you know? What's your story? How did you get to where you are today? Um, You know, being, you know, out in that part of the country, uh, there's, you know, they're very conservative out there. Yeah. Uh, a closed mindset you know you you work or you know you grow up you work and you know you might go to college get mm -hmm. out um, but you're you're like this I, I'm yeah. from a small town just yes. outside of Boston so it's like it's hard to see what the world has to offer yeah so I mean you know with with social media now mm -hmm. you get to see what's out mm -hmm. there and you get to connect with people yeah. and uh, so uh, you know self-image was a big thing for me growing up mm -hmm. uh, wasn't the greatest uh, so like to be able to uh, create uh, relationships with people through social media was something Absolutely. big to me. And that started off with like, you know, way back when with like MSN Messenger. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a long I, time ago. AIM. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, <laughs> creating those relationships and, uh, you know, as social media evolved and you came into Instagram, uh, it, it kind of let you create an identity out there. And uh, that's kind of, it drew me to it. You know, started off with Facebook and with, you know, with Instagram now, um, it just, it's allowing me to, you know, create relationships like this. Yeah, that you would never so, yeah. otherwise. Yeah, for oh, sure. So. I love that. Um, what, what do you feel motivates you every day just to keep you going? Uh, number one is family. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm married, I have a four year old son. So uh, family is my main thing. Uh, and just the motivation of like doing what I'm doing now. Uh, someday having that freedom to spend the time I want with it. Exactly. You know, doing what I want to do on my terms. Straight so. up. That's my goal is to build a company that is nationwide that just develops reoccurring revenue each month so I can technically retire at 35 and just spend the rest of my life raising my family, you know, being there for my kids every single day. That's yeah. like my main goal. I think it's doable. Straight yeah, up. yeah, it is. Do you have any plans on moving out here to LA? Is that like a goal of yours, or um, plan on staying in Kansas, or what's your idea? Yeah, it's funny. Uh, today, my wife texted me and she goes, "Are you going to move to Cali?" And I was like, "Not planning on yeah. it." You know, well, why, why do you want to? We, yeah, we can like, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we're going we to move. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, she's from Oklahoma, mm -hmm. uh, around the Oklahoma City area. So uh, I think if we ever did, we'd yeah. probably go that direction. Yeah. Well, what I could suggest, it's it's like if you're from a small town and you jump here, it's like a big culture shock. Oh, yeah. It's like, what's, but if you go to Big Bear, you know, you can rent a house in Big Bear and have a beautiful place to raise your family and commute to LA, you know, yeah. and for those big sheets. Yeah, we're, we're used yeah. to, I'm used to long drives yeah, anyway. Absolutely. So. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, uh, 20 mile yeah ride out here can be three and a half hours yeah what would you say your biggest failure or learning lesson this far in your content creating career so far is uh mindset yeah uh you know like i said i come from a very small town so the mindset wasn't there of you know i can do what i want to do yeah i don't have to go get a nine to five i don't have to do what everybody else is doing totally. in the area so having that mindset here just recently uh, my, the mindset is starting to shift. Yeah. Like, I can do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So, that's probably one of the, been the biggest thing that's been holding me back. That's awesome. just mindset. So. What, what brought you to that turning point of realizing that, do you feel? Uh, just, you know, I, I started working when I was 14 and it was it was manual labor all the way up to like 25. Yeah. You know, digging ditches. You that's know. what you were raised up to yeah, believe so, that you had to do every day. That's right. Straight so, uh, you know, just woke up one day and was like, you know, I don't, I want to rewrite my family yeah. tree. You know, I don't want, I want to be the person that comes in and changes. Shifts. Yeah. 
creates a mm -hmm. legacy. So oh. that's that's where I'm at right that's now. Awesome. Gary to change that. Yeah, you exactly. are. Oh, I know you watch Gary. Yeah. You were out here for a seminar. I know you watch Gary Vee. Yeah, so that dude's a man. Shout out Gary Vee. I will outwork D Rock any day of the week. Hit me up. <laughs> Just saying. What does the meaning believing in yourself mean to you? And what is the importance to you feel? Uh, all in. Uh, you know, you got to be your number one fan. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I mean, believing in myself, I have to, I have to be my number one fan at anything that I do. Yep. Uh, I don't do it for anybody else but myself. So. Exactly. I love that. That's straight up. Who do you look up to in the industry and why? Um, I actually actually read. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, Sam Walton's book, yeah, you know, uh, the uh, the creator of Walmart, and that book is what sparked me to, you know, to be able to, to believe that I can do what I want to do. And of course, that book led on to, you know, other other people. Um, probably the current most inspirational person to me is is prop is is you know it's probably a Gary Vee. Yeah. You know, those people yeah. that there's a lot of rah rah there, but sometimes it's what people need. Yeah. You know, just, just to get things going. I like how he doesn't beat around the bush. Yeah, he's, he's starting to censor stuff a little bit with this yeah. one. You know, you notice that. And, but it's it's good because it's closing his clientele. If you got a 10 year old kid watching him being inspired, his mom hears him, yeah. Gary V swearing, and you know, yeah, you know, it might yeah, not exactly. be the best, but he just doesn't beat around the bush. He doesn't. I love it. Yeah. Shine up, Gary V. Get on the show. I've seen you with drama. I was like shooting for Young and Reckless, and I was at the office the other day, and then I watched a podcast where Drama and Gary V last week were, and I was like, I was just standing right there, you little bastard, come one week earlier and hit me up. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what does the word lived mean to you? Man. To live, <clears throat> you know? Yeah, I mean, to, to go all out every day, you know, give every day, everything you got um i know i know it's easy to you know get complacent in certain things you know when you do get a little bit of a success or you yeah. know things start happening i mean just every day you know make 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 the fullest day you yeah. know as we can every you got 24 day. hours yeah so that's that's how i look at it every yeah. day is do what you gotta do heck yeah that's what's up if you could say one thing to an artist or a photographer, videographer, content creator that's making their way up in industry, what would you say to kind of just give them some inspiration? Uh, it doesn't matter where you come from, you know, or what you do. I mean, anybody... Middle of Kansas. You, yeah, I mean, the, everybody has the same opportunity. I mean, we live in one of the greatest countries in the world. You know, there's so much opportunity here, you know, and so, I mean, just don't let, don't, don't care, don't worry about what anybody says. Yeah. You know, don't listen to anybody. If you want to go out and do something, no matter what it is, Go do it. Give go it a shot. It. You know, yeah. don't worry if you fail. You know, I mean, there's several things that I've done in the past mm -hmm. and failed at. Everybody, everybody, you know, and so any so successful person you want. Yeah. So I mean, just keep going. Keep at it. I know, I know it's easy to say that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still yeah, in the middle of that. Those, so everybody so, is. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, just just go for it. That's I don't know any other way yeah. to put it. So. I love that. Heck yeah. Um, what was the last question I was just gonna ask you? Yeah, we didn't say. Um, where can everybody find you again? What's your Instagram? What's your Facebook? YouTube? What, where, where can everybody link up with you? Uh, right now, it's mainly Instagram. So just uh, it's Eddie J Media, all okay. case. Sweet. So yeah, just go check it out. There's not a whole lot of content. Yeah, on no, I've seen yeah. the content. Yeah, I've been so, following it. I like yeah. it. You know. I know I've been watching your stuff every day, and it you have some solid work. Keep going with it. That's that would be my advice with it. Yeah, I keep shooting. Do you do you like doing portrait work? Uh. I consider myself more video than photography. Mm -hmm. nope. You know, I mean, like but I like to tell I a story. Yeah, but if someone comes up and says, "Hey, you know, I need a couple of shots," I'll yeah. do it. You know, I don't turn down anything. I've yeah. still been weddings, you know, quinceaneras, totally. everything. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. just gotta keep doing it. You can't, you can't be picky early on. Yeah. So, gotta just keep chasing your yeah. dreams and moving forward. That's right. Awesome. Heck yeah. Well, again, my name is Coast to Coast Studios, your host for Behind the Grams, where we dig into some of the stories, motivations, and inspirations behind the feeds that we watch every day. Again, Eddie J Media, thank you a ton for Thanks. coming in. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks. It was good hearing your story. And that's a wrap.